My name is Taylor Scar, Provincial Forest Entomologist with the Ontario Minister of Natural Resources. This is a demonstration of how to hang a prism trap for emerald ash borer in ash trees. The traps are used for detecting emerald ash borer as part of an early detection survey to find new infestations. The traps arrive as a pair uh, stuck together with sticky side to sticky side and they have to be separated out. They're already creased to bend on the, on the appropriate um, section of the trap so they bend into a three panel trap and it's important to put the sticky side on the outside and then bend the trap so that uh, it's bent on the creases and you fold in the tabs so that they go on the inside. The next step is to poke the holes through that are already inserted by the manufacturer and you put a zip tie in the top, a zip tie in the bottom next to the tabs and then the traps are hung using a spreader that goes into the top of the trap and the spreader has three hooks on it. Each hook goes through a hole that's already uh, made by the manufacturer. You may have to poke the hole to make it clean, snap the hooks in place and the next step is to attach the lures to the trap. In this case we're using two lures. This lure is called a 3Z hexanol or green leaf volatile lure which is a pouch that's impregnated with chemicals that smell like the fresh leaves of a tree and it attracts the beetle to the trap so that they'll get caught in the sticky material on the outside. And you can improve trap capture by also including the insect pheromone which is a sex attractant which typically attracts males to the green trap called a 3Z lactone and that's impregnated into a rubber septum that's also hung from the spreader that's put in the top of the trap. And then finally there's a R hook or metal hook that's attached to the spreader and then that R hook is placed over a, a strong branch in the tree so that the branch can hold the weight of the trap and, uh, and doesn't slide down. So you look for a branch in the mid canopy if you can. You may have to modify the uh, sites by cutting branches out of the way so that you don't get leaves all stuck on the trap which would cover up the sticky surface so you're not so likely to catch emerald ash borer. We use extendable painting poles and on the end of that we have a modified uh, painter handle usually used for paint rollers. Hang the trap usually in the beginning of the flight period of the insect or just before which in Ontario is typically in early June and every couple of weeks you bring the trap back down and, and check it for uh, emerald ash borer that are stuck to the trap. Uh, usually in uh, late August or early September at the end of the season the traps are brought down and disposed of. If you suspect that you have found emerald ash borer and you're not in an area that's known to be infested by the insect, then you should contact the Canadian Food Inspection Agency or the Ontario Minister of Natural Resources to report it. And you can do that by uh, contacting the local office or by going to their websites or by going through the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters Invasive Species Hotline or website to report the discovery of emerald ash borer.